Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Asha. And Linaya. Here, coming to you live from the Awakening SF to offer you your weekly spiritual forecast for the week of May 9th. Okay, guys, we're going to do our usual three card spread to find out what we have going on for this upcoming week. Uh, the first deck that we're going to use is the Spirit Animal deck, just to get a feel for what's going on, the energies that are coming in this week. And these guys around. Okay, let's see what Spirit has for us today. Okay. And our first card for the week. Ooh. The whale spirit. Oh, I love this card. Whale spirit. Trust the great mystery. Now, whale spirit is a very interesting card. This is actually perfect um, falling into the new moon that we have that's coming up. Whale spirit, whales are very much known for their um, intuitive way that they communicate, the way that they communicate amongst each other with these subtle vibrations in their energy and the sounds that they make and the vibrations in the water. So this card right here is kind of showing that um, this week you guys are going to be moving through some stuff, but you're going to be looking through some subtle energies that will help guide you and will let you know um, where to go. So follow your intuition this week. Um, those, those smaller energies will be the ones that will show you the way to go. So let's get our next card from the Work Your Light deck to get a better idea for what our purpose is for this week or what the mission is. And just so yeah. everybody knows, that new moon is coming in, still new moon in Taurus coming through. We'll speak more to some of the themes in the upcoming email, but that will be here on Tuesday, so very soon. Yes, very much so. Okay, let's get our card. And, ooh, so much energy coming. The ever unfolding rose. Ooh, I love that. It's happening to you. Or, I'm sorry, it's happening for you, not to you. I, I said that backwards in my head. That kind of flipped. So just remember that, uh, like I said before, with the whale spirit and the new moon coming in, there will be obviously new seeds that you are going to be planting, but with this ever unfolding rose, um, it's going to be showing that your heart is going to open up just like a rose blossoms. You're going to be blossoming open over this next week. And uh, your basic uh, goal for the week is to just really open up your heart and to keep unfolding and opening up those things those cracks inside of you, those small things that need to get the light in. And once you guys are able to do that, you will be able to move through this week successfully. And that really is your main mission for this week is uh, to also remember that everything that is happening is happening for you, not to you. And what is the lesson and what is happening? So mm -hmm. let's get our Love last that. card. Okay, guys. These guys are jumping today. And this deck, when I even got it out to uh, get it ready for you guys, I was just telling Asha how the energy just, ooh, jumping off this deck. So what is this? Oh, okay, Medicine Guardian. Interesting from the Angels and Ancestors. Medicine Guardian tells us to be um, open to healing information. So you will be receiving some information that will be very healing to your soul this week. This information, um, very interesting because it goes right after the rose. So you're going to be cracked open possibly by this new information that you're going to be receiving. And this information will be healing information that will definitely heal your soul. Um, it will heal your heart and it will, it will also, like I said, fill in those cracked spaces, those gaps that you have in your heart. Um, so those are the three cards for the week and whatever guardian we have, which is the medicine guardian, is here to guard you for this week and it will be deep healing for you guys. So I cannot wait for that to come in through 
And don't forget to listen to the smaller energies with the whale spirit and allow yourself to be correct, open with the ever unfolding rose and be open to healing new information that can possibly change your life. So um, communication is going to be very big this week, guys, and listening to your intuition um, is what the cards are telling us. So mm, that's what we're getting. Oh my gosh, Lanaya. And that's how you know it's going to be a good read is when those cards just start flying oh. out, right? <laughs> yes, they were like out of my hands this week. It was crazy. So what's really interesting is I'm already getting a sense, you know, as far as our channeled guidance is concerned about, there's a lot of softer energy meeting us this week, definitely picking up on the beauty way that, um, that really subtle rose energy that is so aligned with nurturing of aspects of our spirit that are yearning to have that you know um intuitive communication and so with the energy of the new moon and it being you know in that darkest place i felt when you were calling that wheel energy that there is this light from above that we all have access to and that is really asking for us to remember that it's there so we may be meeting those dark you know um, subconscious places again i mean we were, we've been meeting those in the past weeks in, in the reminders of play, but this one in particular, it is asking for us to really immerse ourselves almost in a bath with that whale energy. If we were submerging ourselves like a mermaid, you know, fully into that water to really be able to tap into the way that that light is meeting us in our subtle senses. So feeling into in a grounded place, you know, how, how it's meeting our, our body, the emotions that it's evoking, really spending time with these subtle energies and in a way that we can really drink it in and find those lessons that the medicine angel is wanting to share with us as we're entering such a bigger place of devotional self-love than really we've ever been in ever before. So this new moon it will be very potent for us to not just like listen to our intuition, but to really slow it down and to find the subtle nuances that are really asking to be planted in this new moon and to grow in the next phase for us this week and, and in the upcoming weeks to come. That's what I've got for you all. <laughs> Well, I hope you have an amazing week this week. And, you know, as per usual, if you have any questions at all, you can email us at theawakeningsf, soulfreedom uh, at gmail.com and follow us at theawakeningsf on Twitter, Instagram, Telegram, YouTube, Vimeo, all the things. And we'll see you soon. Love you guys. See you next week. Lots of love. We are one.